Hi and welcome back to Old School Blues Guitar. We are going through one version of What I'd Say, What I'd Say by the Lightning Hopkins. And in the first lesson we took a look at the introduction and the guitar that's being played behind Lightning's vocals. Now we're going to get into the solos. And the solos are cool. There's really two different solo verses and there's one that's kind of unique. There's two that he plays twice, so there's four or five total. So let's go through this first one. It does something like this. So let's take it from the end of the previous verse. So it starts out with this, with the open first string, second fret of the second string, twice. And then on the stop, it sounds like he's using that chord shape again and just getting the, the bottom three strings or so, like that. So the whole thing, and then he's going to go open first string, second fret of the second string. And then third fret of the first string with a little bend. So that whole thing. Another stop, and then. So what I'm doing here, it's twice on the third fret of the first string. Open first string, second fret of the second string. Back to the third fret of the first string, open, and then I'm going to slide from the third to the fifth fret on the second string. So the whole thing, let's do the whole solo so far from this turnaround. <laughs> and he's going to slide back, five, three, open, whoops, and it sounds like he does it again right away. So like this. And that's how I, I hear it. And that's how I play it, because that's kind of a simple way to play it. So the whole thing played slowly. First stop. And then he goes into this. Typical lightning thing. We've done this before. So with my first finger on the second fret of the second string, uh, second finger on the third fret of the third string, and I'm sliding with the third finger, picking the third string and then the second string. And he kind of lets it hang there, and then he does this. Something like that. And what I'm doing is, Sliding there, and then sliding again, this time just on the third string. Or set, third string, second to fourth frets. And he's going to slide it back up, or back down, and kind of pull off to the second fret of the fourth string. Open third string, second fret of the fourth string. This is one where you want to check the tab and listen to the original song. So we did, let's take it from that, from that second part. Something like that. That's a simplified version of what he does. And then he goes into the four with the open fifth string. This time he's going back and forth. Not, I don't think he's getting the open third. I think he's going from the second fret of the fourth string to the fifth fret. Like that. And then back to the main riff. And then the same turnaround. Now he doesn't do the stop there. He's going to go into the next solo verse. So one more time, let's play through that whole first solo. So one more time, let's play through that whole first solo in Lightning Hopkins' What I Say.
Hopkins what I'd say is kind of fun and I don't know if I have it down exactly what he's doing but I'm going to show you pretty darn close and then you can figure it out or I'll have it on the tab so at the end of the first solo he does this whoops second solo. So he starts out and it's just an E shape and he's getting the open sixth string. And he's doing some picking and it sounds to me like he's getting more than just the open sixth string. That's why I've got the chord shape. And then he's going to go to what is an A flat and it sounds to me like he's just getting the sixth string at the fourth fret. So it's the 7th fret, and here's where it gets a little, a little funky. It sounds to me like he almost goes too far with this. He's trying to get to the E or the 1, but it sounds like he actually goes a little too far. That never, never bothered lightning any. So he does this. to the A7 and this time he is playing that rocking motion and I'm just taking my bouncing my ring finger from the third fret and then putting my second finger on the second fret of the first string while playing the A chord open fifth string for my bass we've seen that before and then the B7 this is different. It's really just an A7 with my third finger bending up on the third fret of the first string. And I'm doing this quick hammer on pull off on the second fret of the first string. And then winding up on the second fret of the second string. And then the open first string twice, so like this. And I'm going back to that E chord while I do that. And I think he's playing it out of the shape. And that is the, the second solo. Let's try that real slow one time. try to do it slow. It's hard for me to play slow. which we'll do here in just a minute. Solo verse of Lightning Hopkins, What I'd Say. He goes back to one of his more famous tunes, Baby Please Don't Go, and he plays a riff that's kind of the melody from that. Let me try to play this real slow. I just learned this. So from the end of the previous verse. <laughs> spots there. I'm just learning this. I'm going to have the tab exactly. So let me just show you kind of what he's doing. The first part comes from the end. And he's going to slide. Like 
that. Sliding from the third to the fifth. And he's not hammering on. It sounds like a slide. And he's going to slide again. So he goes to the fifth fret of the second string, third to the fifth fret. Then third fret of the first string. Back to the fifth fret of the second string and then slides again from the third to the fifth fret. So like this. And then the bass notes. He's getting that E chord again. And it's open sixth string. Third fret of the sixth string. And then open fifth string. And then back to this to the open sixth string. So it's like this. So you gotta take that finger up. That's the bass part. So the whole thing. Like that. And he does it again. But this time, it's going to just do that slide from the fifth to the third fret on the second string. Whoops. And now he's going to go. It's going to slide three to five on the second string, third fret of the first string. 5-3 on the first string with a band on the 5th fret of the first string. And he does, I, I'll have this tabbed out for you, it sounds like a slide from the 3rd to the 5th to the 3rd, open, like that. And another one of those. using some of the same licks that he's already used in the song. Listen to this and I'll have it tabbed out exactly. So let's try to go through that whole first part. This part I don't have memorized. So he goes like this from the previous verse. like we did before. And then... Now for the last two solo verses, he does kind of the same thing he did before. He does another one of these. variations in there and I'll tap those out for you but you can listen and see what I'm doing with the tap I don't want to spend the time going through that again because it's like 95% exactly what he did before and then for the last solo verse he repeats this and it sounds like he gets a chord at the end this time and he can't really have the time to go back from here to an E chord, so I think he's just getting a bunch of open strings, probably with his first finger stroking up to get the open first and second string, and then he goes back into it, so let's do that again. Something, I'll have it tabbed out for you, but he winds up with that chord, and then back to the A7. He's going to do the end tag, which we'll teach separately here in just a minute. So we're going to do the end tag. And before we do, just something I'm going to point out. At the, at the, in the previous solo verse, there's kind of a timing glitch, which is typical Lightning Hopkins. Once, I guess, some British blues guys in the 60s were given the task of playing along or accompanying Lightning and one of the guys asked Lightning, you know, are we going to change on, you know, do the regular chord changes? 
like a 1-4-5 progression or whatever, and lightning replied, lightning changes when lightning wants to change. And that's pretty much what he does. And in this song, there's a good example of this. And we did the previous verse where he's doing this. <laughs> should go back to the one, but instead he plays the A7 for another, he plays it again like this, again. And then he goes back to the, the rest of the tune, but he stalls on, that, on the four. He stays on it longer than what he should. And then he gets to the end tag, so he plays the B7. He does this. I'm just going to show this to you at first. I'll break it down, then I'll play it for you all the way through if I can. I don't know if he uses his first finger or if he uses his thumb or a combination of both. I'm still messing around trying to find the best way to play some of this stuff. But he's sliding with the left hand somewhere on the neck to the tenth, twelfth fret of the second string. And then he goes from the tenth fret to the twelfth fret to the tenth fret on the first string. That's the first phrase. And then he goes. It's going to go from the 12th fret to the 10th fret to the 8th fret on the 2nd string. And then the 9th fret of the 3rd string. So that whole riff. And he slides it back down. One more time. And then he does this. One of these E licks, open second string, second fret of the third string, and then a hammer on, open third string, hammer on to the first fret. Something like that. So the whole thing so far. And he's going to do that slide with the open first string, sliding on the second string from the third to the fifth fret, back to the third fret. That little figure. So the whole thing so far, you can check the tab on this. Whoops. One more time. And then, open second string, second fret, third fret, and do an E7 like this. And then the open sixth, at least on the version that I'm teaching you. So let me walk through that turnaround. I didn't play it great, but this is pretty much what he's doing. End tag, I should say. Let's that ring out. One more time from the end of the of the solo. And that is the end of Lightning Hopkins, one version of Lightning Hopkins playing what I said. Now going back over the song, there's a lot of little little nuances and little Oh, specifics that he does, little intricacies that maybe I didn't capture here. you got to listen to it. And also, if you listen to a bunch of different versions of him doing this, you'll see just how great he was at, at playing variations on a lot of these same ideas, not playing them the same way every single time. So by request, there's a lesson for Lightning Hopkins, what I'd say, and that is the acoustic lesson. I had listed William Moore's Old Country Rock, but I'm going to work on that some more and do that for the next time. I will be doing lessons every three months now, and I am taking a break until February of 2017. Give me some more time to pick out songs, tab them out properly, and do a better job of doing the lessons. Plus, it's getting kind of busy for me at work. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Give me some comments. If you've got any questions, let me know. And I'll see you again in a few months. <coughs>